Medical misinformation is everywhere. Dr. Mitch is here for straight talk and to give you the truth. Hi, everybody. The question today is, is it worth testing reverse T3? Part of the problem with testing thyroid, as you may be aware, is that the typical tests aren't often as accurate for diagnosis as you as a clinician would like them to be. And one of the tests that I incorporate, which I believe is for good reason, is the reverse T3. Now, an easy explanation of what T3 reverse is, is that the main act of thyroid in our body is free T3 and it regulates metabolism, as you know. Reverse T3, on the other hand, is a version that doesn't activate energy production. Instead, it slows things down. In essence, reverse T3 helps the body adjust its energy based on what it needs at the moment, and it will save it for tough times when you need more energy. Now, these times when your reverse T3 will elevate is acute and chronic stress, illness or injury, uh, fasting or malnutrition states, of course, will do this. Liver dysfunction that's involved in the conversion of T3 in general. Adrenal efficiency for pretty much the same reason. And there is a low T3 syndrome, also known as non-thyroidal illness syndrome or euthyroid sick syndrome, basically that the thyroid numbers are normal, but yet it's not producing enough of the active T3. I don't want you to forget also, there are medications that you use very often or other doctors are using when the patients come to you that can affect and raise the T3. These include steroids, beta blockers, or amiodarone. All of these can influence and increase the reverse T3. Now we go back to our original question. So does it pay to do a reverse T3 when you get a thyroid panel? Well, in my opinion, I think we get a lot of information from it as we just discussed. And one more thing before we go that would be your takeaway is that if you take the ratio of the free T3, the number of the free T3, and make it a ratio to the reverse T3, if that number is less than 20, it usually means there's too much reverse T3 and the thyroid isn't activating properly. The opposite would be the same and true. If it's greater than 20, most likely that the amount of T3 is sufficient to do its metabolic processes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Mitch Gen. You can always send me a, an email if you need any further questions or inquiry at Mitch, Dr. Mitch Gen at MitchGen.com. That's Dr. Mitch I believe it's Dr. Mitch at MitchGen.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at MitchGen.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.